I would cut off all communication with Putin. What I said was, as President of the United States, now is not the time to talk with him. Reagan walked away at Reykjavik. There is a time and a place for everything. There is a time and a place for talk, and there is a time and a place for action. I know Vladimir Putin. He respects strength. He lied to our president's face, didn't bother to tell him about war planes and troops going into Syria. We need to speak to him from a position of strength. So as commander in chief, I will not speak to him until we've set up that no-fly zone, until we've gathered our Sunni Arab allies and begun to deny ISIS territory, until I've called the supreme leader of Iran and told him, New Deal, New Deal, we, the United States of America, are going to cut off the money flow, which we can do, which we don't need anyone's permission or collaboration to do. And I will not speak to him personally until we've rebuilt the Sixth Fleet a little bit right under his nose, rebuilt the missile defense program in Poland right under his nose, and conducted a few military exercises in the Baltic states. And let us remember one other thing. Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are responsible for the growth of ISIS because they <coughs> precipitously withdrew from Iraq in 2011 against the advice of every single general and for political expediency. It's not these people up here. It's Hillary Clinton.